In this video, I will demonstrate how to perform emission spectroscopy using a spectrometer and your Logger Pro software. Emission spectroscopy allows you to quantify the intensity of light emitted from a substance, as well as determine the wavelength of light that it emits. To begin using the spectrometer for emission spectroscopy, you must first change a few settings. When you initially plug in the spectrometer, you should see a rainbow background on the screen. If you do not see this, it means the spectrometer is not communicating properly. Check the USB connection and relaunch Logger Pro if necessary. The default setting on Logger Pro is absorbance versus wavelength. This needs to be changed to intensity versus wavelength. To do this, click on the Experiments tab at the top of the page, and from the drop-down menu select Change Units, Spectrometer 1, and then pick Intensity. Because the light intensity from the solution you are using is too low, you will have to adjust the scan time. Go ahead and select Sample Time from this menu and set it to 500 milliseconds. You should also leave the other settings alone. When you're finished, go ahead and close this menu to update the settings. You can also set the sample time to 1000 milliseconds if 500 is not sufficient enough to detect the light intensity from your solution. For this next part, you will need a glow stick, tubing cutters, forceps, a spill containment bin, and a 20 milliliter plastic vial. Activate the glow stick by snapping the inner glass tube and shake it well so it begins glowing. Now hold the glow stick upright over the spill bin and apply pressure to the top part of the glow stick using the tubing cutters to snip off the top. Next, pour the glow stick solution into a 20 milliliter plastic vial while still holding it over the spill bin. If there are a lot of small glass pieces in your vial, use your forceps to transfer the pieces into the spill bin. The glow stick solution is sensitive to air and light, so while you are waiting, the vial should be capped and covered in aluminum foil. The vial block you are using can only hold 1 dram vials, so you will only need to add about 1.5 milliliters of glow stick solution to your vial initially. If you intend to add reagents to the glow stick solution quantitatively, you will need to do so using a micropipette. This will allow you to add liquids using very precise measurements. If you plan to change the temperature of your glow stick solution, you will do so using an ice bath or a hot water bath. To cool your solution, place your capped 1 dram vials directly into a bowl of ice. For heating, you will need to fill a 150 milliliter beaker halfway with water and place your vial into the beaker so the bottom of the vial contacts the bottom of the beaker. You should also use a digital thermometer to monitor the temperature of your hot bath. The vial block you are using has one sample compartment and four additional wells to store other samples. Be sure not to move the vial block from its position as bending or stretching the fiber optic cables could break them. When you are ready to run a sample, wipe off the exterior of the vial with a Kim wipe and place it into the sample compartment. In Logger Pro, press the green collect button and wait a few seconds for the data to be collected. When done, press the red stop button. You can also run multiple samples back to back. Switch out the vial in the sample compartment and click the green collect button again. Then click on store latest run to save the previous spectra and add another one onto the same graph. To highlight a specific wavelength, click the analyze tab at the top of the screen and then select examine from the drop down menu. You can then move your cursor over to your peak of interest. You may also need to adjust the intensity axis as well. You can do this by clicking the uppermost Y value on the left part of the screen and then entering a smaller value. When you are completely done, dispose of all glass in the glass waste bin, including your glow sticks. You can also dispose of any used vials instead of cleaning them with ethanol. Hopefully this guide was helpful in showing you how to perform emission spectroscopy. Good luck and have fun in lab!